The Essene Gospel of Peace. Now, you know me. I'm into books that actually elevate your consciousness. That actually have magic contained in them. I'm into books that actually are worth my time and effort. This book right here is worth your time and effort. Because it tells you the truth. And the truth is that you haven't learned anything if you haven't really heard what Christ had to teach about. What Christ had to teach about is the love you have for your mother. How often do you hear in Christianity and other practices, you know, referring to the mother, referring to the divine goddess that is this planet, this womb we are currently embodied upon? How often do you hear Christian people provoking the idea that it's only male dominance. I am a deep lover of Christ myself. And to hear him himself speak so highly of the mother is an inspiration. It's a healing factor. You know, he also tells you, you shouldn't eat meat in this book too, Christ himself, you know, but then again, we're all eating you know, turkeys and whatnots on Thanksgiving to praise God. Um, but that's another story. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to say that there is a level that people just ignore when it comes to the truth, you know? And it's so blatantly obvious, but, you know, <laughs> I'm just in a, an interesting mood today. But I want to read you some of the Essene Gospel of Peace. Your mother is in you. And you and her, she bore you, she gives you life. It was she who gave to you your body. To her, you shall one day give it back again. Happy are you when your mother, when you come to know her in her kingdom. If you receive your mother's angels, if you do her laws, I tell you truly, he who does these things shall never see disease. For the power of our mother is above all, and it destroys Satan in his kingdom, and has rule over your bodies and all living things. The blood which runs in us is born of the blood of the earthly mother. Her blood falls from the clouds, leaps from the womb of the earth, babbles in the brooks of the mountain, flows wide in the rivers of the plains, sleeps in the lakes, rages mightily in the temptatious seas. The air which we breathe is born of a breath of our earthly mother. Her breath is a zor in the heights of the heavens, sows in the tops of the mountains, whispers in the leaves of the forest, bellows over the cornfields, slumbers in the deep valleys, burns hot in the desert. See, this is Christ speaking to those who are suffering, you know, teaching them the true path to the Father, telling them that if you want to truly be one with your Father, which most people who speak of Christianity are trying to get in alignment with Christ and his Father, they overlook the mother. They continue using uh, nets to catch the fish that destroy the ocean, which is part of our mother. They continue to destroy the trees and forests and relationships so they can write their pretty little books on paper of our mother, you know? So it's to understand the two sides, you know, and have a full balance to uh, <clears throat> what it is we are doing. <clears throat> should you fail to keep but one of all these laws, should you harm but one only of all your body's members, you shall be utterly lost in grievous sickness and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I tell you, unless you follow the laws of your mother, I can in no wise escape a death. And he who clings to the laws can in no of his mother, to him he shall his mother cling also. She heals all his plagues, and he shall never become sick. She gives him long life and protects him from all afflictions, from fire, from water, from the bite of venomous serpents. Your mother bore you, keeps life within you. She is given to you your body, and none but she heals you. Happy is he who loves his mother and lies quietly in her bosom. This is sharing with us the truth of what Christ was trying to teach. Your heavenly father is love. Your earthly mother is love. The son of man is love. It even goes on to say that you shall be better onto than him himself. You know, saying that you have more of this 
But over time, you know, with Roman, you know, militaristic mindsets that used and weaponized his teachings, decided that they would warp humanity with their own sort of egotistical desire to control. Who knows what the real reason why? All I know is that this book right here is one that will open you up into a deeper relationship with your truth, which is Christ, teaching you how to live more in harmony with her by cleansing in the angels of water, by cleansing in the earth, by cleansing in the breath, the angels of breath, by connecting with the true angels within ourselves, and allowing their presence, the divine goddess, that is this mother we are coming from the womb of creation and helps us find stability in our heart. This is a not a very well-known book, but God gave by Moses 10 commandments to his forefathers. These commandments are hard, said your forefather. They could not keep them. When Moses saw this, he had compassion on his people and would not let them perish. And then he gave them 10 times 10 commandments, for he whose feet are strong as the mountains of Zion needs no crutches, but he whose limbs do shake gets further having crutches than without them. And Moses said to the Lord, My heart is filled with sorrow, for my people will be lost, for they are without knowledge and are not able to understand thy commandments. He knew, like what I'm saying, I know, that most of you aren't going to understand what I'm talking about. This is really living in harmony with agopic angelic love. It's hard to do, you know, it's not easy to have compassion for even the worst of kind of people, you know, the worst. It's easy to have that hatred fester in one's heart instead of upwelling a deeper mirror of relationship for that person who is going through suffering and causing anguish to others because they're living in anguish themselves. So this is living in that light. This is a book that I recommend. I don't know who this guy is, but he uh, apparently rewrote what the, uh, the, uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls, he just, you know, rewrote them in English because, I mean, Jesus himself was a Hebrew. I'm sure he spoke many languages as well, but he sure didn't speak English because it was not a thing at that time. So to understand Christ means you have to understand that his words were in a different language from what I'm speaking to you right now in this English babbling Babylon of consciousness. If you want to have one that opens you up to a new perspective of what this piece can be, this I'm sure you can find a PDF of some sort, find it online of some sort, or whatever you're going to do. But Edmund Burdiox Siskili. Definitely highly recommend. You know, as I said, I'm in a little bit of a mood today. I have so much love for my mother, and I see so many people treating her with disrespect and harm, and it's upsetting sometimes. So I hope you can bear with me. You know, my heart is here with you. That I love you guys. That I pray for you guys. That I pray for the mother. That I pray for the health of our mother. That we may realign with her virtues and her angels and come into a deeper relationship with the spark the spark of health health for this planet if you do her mo your mother's laws just taking care of your mom this planet then the sky the heavens will look fondly upon you regardless if you ever focus on that or not so all the blessings on to you Shine brilliantly this life. Forgive yourself. Forgive me. Forgive others. And open yourself up to the breath, the angels. You all stay radiant. Aloha. Namaste.